So, here we go again. A Wednesday morning, January 26, 2022. Beautiful Halifax, Nova Scotia, Citadel Hill, and the clock. Let's go for a walk. I'm on my way to work. Oh, look, the moon is still up. Magnificent. So, just a couple of... I'll let the traffic go by. All right, let's go for a walk about here. So I am doing a show this evening, eight o'clock, Matt TV. I'll be speaking with Nova Scotia film student Natasha Young. She's in school right now online through the Toronto Film School. But her final project is a documentary on the housing crisis here in Nova Scotia. So I will be speaking with Natasha tonight at 8 o'clock. Morning, Simon. So just, again, a big thank you to everyone who reached out yesterday on my 49th birthday. I had lots of text messages, Facebook posts. So I definitely felt the love yesterday, so thank you very much. Had the opportunity to talk to mom and dad, my sister Jill, brother Mike. So a successful birthday. Now here's a question. I'm 49. My birthday, my 49th birthday was yesterday. So am I starting my 49th rotation around the sun or am I beginning my 50th rotation around the sun? I want to say 49th. That just mathematically makes more sense to me, but... Someone mentioned that I'm actually starting my 50th, my 50th rotation. So if someone can clear the air on that, that would be great. Squish it back center. Beautiful day. It'll be nice here today. Uh, the weather looks quite nice. Until we get to Saturday when there is a special weather statement, it's already in place. Uh, they're talking about it uh, down south. There seems to be a massive winter storm. Another nor'easter, and it's headed our way. And it's due to make landfall Saturday right through till Sunday. So we'll see how that plays out because here we are. It's only Wednesday morning. So we'll, we will follow that with the same intensity as we are following hundreds, thousands of truckers, individuals from all over Canada heading towards Ottawa. They want to end the mandates and they are driving to Ottawa. I am really excited to see how that plays out. That being said, I put a post up this morning. There was a, from some video clips from yesterday, there are individuals who will use this opportunity to perhaps participate in acts of violence. So I put up a post this morning, a video clip of an individual. I don't know who he is. I can't even confirm if he's Canadian, but he clearly states that he would love to see Canada's version of a January 6th. How dangerous and sick is that statement? But he goes on to say that he wouldn't mind seeing some truckers just drive through the 16-foot walls that protect the Prime Minister of the United States. Now, I don't know about you, but any act of violence during this convoy and what you're trying to do, the message that you're trying to put out there is null and void. If there are any acts of violence, your, your movement will be dead because it just takes away from everything. So please, 
please, no violence. Your convoy's on the way. You have support across the country. Uh, if you know of anyone who's thinking of doing something outside of the game plan, you might want to advise them not to do so. That's my two Sorry, I somehow turned off my phone. Anyway, that's my two cents. And I don't know if I cut myself off, but you may think you owe me change on that. Anyway, I have to go to work. It's a beautiful day here in Halifax. Uh, brand new Matt TV tonight, eight o'clock. Be speaking with Nova Scotia film student, Natasha Young. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye now.